on guys today i'm gonna let you in on a little secret this is a rig that not a lot of people are talking about from japan but it works extremely well on very pressured schooling fish and just isolated individual fish that are on the top of humps points stuff like that it's already accounted for some elite series top tens and a lot of those guys are trying to keep it under wraps i'm gonna expose it a little bit today because we have this new bait from six cents called the juggle so you guys have seen it's been billed as a trailer it's an excellent swim jig trailer chatter bait trailer as you guys can see works well on an underspin but i think one of the best rigs is going to be this rig i'm showing you today which is called the biwa rig originated in lake biwa and it's also going to be great on another rig that i'm going to show you in just a second as well one of the best baits i think on the market for it but a biwa rig quite simply you're gonna be throwing it on a spinning rod but it is a light ball shaped swim bait jig head with either a round bend or this actually has a little nice sprout bend that gets them really really good um, a lighter wire hook this is an eighth ounce size and these guys are using these super super light heads they match it up to how deep they're fishing but this eighth ounce size which is really small obviously is actually better for fishing a little bit deeper down to probably 15 feet of water or so but quite simply all you're going to do is make this rig by threading that juggle on the hook nice and even this is obviously nothing that's been different than people have fished jig head worms jig head minnows jig head flukes for decades and the way you fish it a lot of times is in conjunction with forward facing sonar so you're going to get out on fish that are like i said suspended over humps schooling fish this works extremely well i've been catching a ton of schooling fish and it works really well on fish that won't bite anything else that's when a lot of these pro fishermen have been using this rig but you're going to cast this thing out as far as you can up over those fish and on your retrieve you're going to let your bait go down and if you're trying to work it over schooling fish i like to keep my rod tip up at about 10 o'clock and you're going to shake your line just shake the slack in your line and reel really slow it's kind of the same principle as when you're popping or doing the alabama shake people call it on a swim jig where you're popping it in place and it's causing that bait to really pulse and it kind of stays in one spot in the strike zone longer same exact methodology with this except you're fishing in an open water really the cleaner the water the better and you're just going to pop that thing at whatever depth that single fish you're targeting um, or up above those schooling fish and you can go down as light as you want to on this as long as you have a nice rod they can whip it out there this is a really good rod for it it's the 611 medium esp spinning rod it's got a really fast tip on it which is what i like for this technique because not only can you sling it out there a long ways but you can really shake that slack and feel what your bait's doing down there but really if you're fishing it in the top five feet of the water column i'll leave my rod up at about 10 o'clock if you're trying to get that bait down i'll put it at about eight or nine o'clock and just shake that slack the entire way in this is a technique not a lot of people are talking about yet but this juggle minnow is already catching fish for me and a couple of my buddies have been applying it on this new biwa rig that's going to become a lot more mainstream in the near future one other rig i want to show you guys that is extremely popular across the country in the winter months you guys all know this one they call it hanging a minnow up in canadia but this is the damiki rig you're going to use a 90 degree jig head and really you can fish it as deep as you want to this bait obviously with that lively tail and this bait is very buoyant so it's going to sit horizontally in the water column it's going to be about as good as you can possibly get for a tamiki rig but check it out in the description right down below that is the brand new juggle from six cents and i've never seen any colors as realistic as these guys are coming straight out the six cents lab check them out